Three quarters of New York City's greenhouse gas emissions come from buildings. Under the city's plan for a greener future, Mayor Michael Bloomberg has set ambitious greenhouse gas reduction goals. We know that if we're going to meet our goals of reducing our carbon emissions by 30% by 2030, we have to reduce the emissions that are attributable to buildings and make our buildings more energy efficient. That includes both new buildings and existing buildings. We reached out to architects, engineers, renewable energy experts around the city and asked them what obstacles they were encountering when they were trying to make buildings greener. And we learned from them, helped us unpack the regulations, rewrite them, and remove a number of impediments to the deployment of all these strategies around the city. The initiative, spearheaded by City Planning Commissioner Amanda Burden, was called Zone Green, and it included a coordinated package of new zoning amendments, city legislation, and state laws that promote the construction and retrofitting of greener buildings. The changes included allowing solar panels on roofs to surpass height limits, allowing sun control devices to project a few feet over open spaces, thus reducing the need for air conditioning, allowing thicker, more energy efficient walls to be excluded from floor area limits, permitting green roofs, skylights, stormwater management systems, and high efficiency boilers to be placed on rooftops and waiving height and floor area limits for greenhouses on non-residential buildings, allowing for rooftop farming on a significant scale. Shortly after the adoption of Zone Green, we were approached by a private partnership about the creation of the largest rooftop greenhouse in the United States of over 100,000 square feet. These creative incentives for green construction and retrofits for all types of buildings unlock the potential for up to $800 million in annual energy savings. The American Planning Association is proud to present the 2013 National Planning Excellence Award for Environmental Planning to the New York City Department of City Planning's Zone Green.